there's a reason it's called the war on crime. For the next 60 minutes, we'll put you on the front line. You'll see the scariest pursuits, wildest shootouts, and most outrageous outlaws from around the world. Much of this footage has never been seen before. We've gathered these stories from police. What do we need to take him out here now? News agencies. Oh, no. Even citizens on patrol. To show you the stark reality that criminals have declared you the enemy. And knowing your opponent is the only way this war will be won. John Bennell. Most people don't think about crime until they become a victim. But crooks are always thinking about their targets and how to gain an edge. Only way to even the odds is to show you how perps behave. Because when you know what they do and why they do it, you have a chance to keep it from happening to you. In Istanbul, Turkey, a bitter lawsuit has sparked a brawl outside a courthouse. In the midst of the melee, a cop even snags a knife from one of the feuding litigants. But the opposing parties are still bent on cutting each other down. Police have their hands full separating the men. But it's the two ladies that are in a vicious hair tug of war. The women refuse to release their stone cold grips. So it's up to a lawman to chisel them apart. But just as he ends the cat fight, the big dogs go at it again. A lone guard finds himself overwhelmed. Ending this rumble is not a one-man job. He finally gets some much-needed help from a couple of civilians and another officer. It looks like the hotheads might cool off before someone gets seriously hurt. But just when it appears over, the other shoe drops. Hard. A woman dashes in to get her bag, and a young punk gives her the boot. Today's gal clutches her aching head. And the rest finally disperse before cops have to throw them in a Turkish prison. These foolish fighters tried taking judgment into their own hands. But they learned the hard way. Exacting street justice can be a real kick in the head. Douglasville, Georgia. These highways are notorious for crooks who run drugs in from Mexico. So when a pair of traffic violators pulls this stunt, chances are cops have sniffed out two more. In seconds, their monster sedan is nearly out of sight. But with all the dope traveling on this highway, there are always additional police nearby to lend a hand. The perp treats the old boat like a sports car, barreling through traffic. A cop races ahead on his right. See if you get in front of him, block him off. But when he goes for the block, watch out, watch out. the hulking luxury ride charges to the shoulder and gets back in front of police. But considering what officers are planning, that's the last place they want to be. Okay, good, good. Look out, look out, look out. Correct, you're correct. 
A perfect shot to the bumper. And the culprits fly out of control. They smash into the guardrail. And lawmen move to trap them in. They push the battered heap to the shoulder. But somehow, it tears from their grip. The perps are asking for another pummeling. So this time, the cop dishes out an even nastier one. What starts out as a pin turns into a punishing pit. Dazed by the crash, the renegades are done for. Shoot ahead, now. They practically fall onto the concrete. Get out, car. Oh, car on the ground, now. Oh, on the ground, now. And cops cuff them on the spot. Don't move. Don't move. Investigators soon find their stash. And the dope mules will get thrown in the pen for possession and reckless endangerment. Maybe they really thought their lumbering ride could outrun and outdrive their opponents. But the lame brain idea only sent their crate to the junk pile. And the junkies? To the slammer. England. A wanted felon is taking his fleet footed escape to new heights. The man is a convicted sex offender from Poland who's been caught stalking his former victim. Now, with cops circling below, he flees across rooftops where the footing is treacherous. And one wrong step could plunge him to his doom. He's now right on the edge of Crown Street. Officers coordinate from the air. He's on the roof to the side of that red vehicle. But the shifty dirt bag is a moving target. And he scurries like a cockroach just beyond the reach of the law. With a cop closing in, he leaps a fence a split second before getting nabbed. Then he dashes into a maze of buildings. Through the alleyway, through the alleyway. Where his fearless free running could help him disappear. So when the roof rat hits the ground, he's walking across the car park. Foot patrol descends in force. He's got your right hand side on the front roof. He's heading back round. He's going back through the gardens again. The sleazy thug tries his best to escape. He's now coming onto the blue roof. But with police tightening the net, you should see him straight in front of you. He's running out of real estate. Cornered, the perp makes one last dash for the street where a half dozen cops run him down. Yep, mail has been detained. Missile Road, well done. This vile predator will spend 21 months in prison before getting deported. Maybe he'll finally learn that when he's up to no good, the law will always be there to ground him. Yep, mail has been detained. Drop it! On world's wildest police videos. Now stalking into the police car now. A high velocity fugitive gets a high octane pummeling. A stick up man targets a store until his targets stick it to him. And these bad boys' wild getaway gets as bad as bad can get.
guy is really moving. In Orlando, Florida, two burglary suspects have just fled the scene of a crime. As you can see, zipping in and out of traffic. Moments ago, they broke into a house, unaware that an underage girl was home alone. This is her terrifying 911 call. They broke my back, London door. I'm in my closet. Please hurry up. Okay, shh. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Oh my God, please don't kill me. The instant the hood saw the child, they bolted. He's just jumping all over the place. Ran through that intersection, ran a red light, around traffic. They know that the youngster's presence could change this from a B and E. Traffic's heavy here, red light. Let's see what he does. To an assault charge. The men dodged through midday traffic. Oh, what's he gonna do? He's just driving crazy. Distancing themselves from pursuing units. But they're risking another major violation. Oh, oh! Vehicular manslaughter. He's down, he's down. 10-4, he's down. At 65 miles an hour, the suspects blaze through a red light take out three crossing cars at once. 10-4, he's down. We got an accident here. Orange Avenue southbound at State Route 50. The driver emerges and immediately collapses. He's got a shattered leg and can barely stand. He finds that his partner has fared no better. Both desperately need medical attention. OK, units coming in in front of him. But they're not the only ones. Four innocent people are badly injured in the crash, all of them lucky to survive this devastating collision. These burglars may not have seen themselves as violent offenders. Zipping in and out of traffic. But the minute things got hot, they went for broke. In a red light, around traffic. They're just lucky their dangerous thievery didn't rob anyone of their life. Oh, oh! He's down, he's down. 10-4, he's down. Criminals target convenience stores for three reasons. They're open at all hours, they almost always have cash on hand, and the easy access gives them the element of surprise. Catch your victims off guard, and the more likely they are to be compliant. You lose that edge, all bets are off. Sunderland, England. If you've ever wondered what a crook is thinking, here's one you can read like an open book. The hooded youngster cases his store by acting like a customer. First, he browses the racks. Then he chats up the clerk, hoping to look even more legitimate. The kid thinks he's playing like a pro, but his nervous energy oozes from every pore. He goes back out to make sure there are no coppers around. Of course, the cashier, a Mr. Rahulan, is more than a little wary. So when the Heistmeister returns for action, Rahulan is in no hurry to help. The thief fears he's been made. But hiding his face isn't helping his cause. The clerk orders the troublemaker out of his store. But this bandit's bad performance has a frightening twist. He pulls a pistol and forces the shopkeep back. It looks like he'll finally hit pay dirt. But as Rahulan returns to the register, he's still not sure this guy means business. The jittery gunman is trying almost too hard to play the heavy. And that's when this power play gets a power shift. A customer walks in. The punk sees him and warns him to stay back, unaware the man is ex-military. Now two people see through his phony bravado. With the crook distracted, Rahulan grabs his gun. And the soldier throws him in a headlock, forcing a quick surrender. The clerk calls the cops, who are on the scene in less than five minutes. And now with the bad boy headed for a four-year sentence, he has a brutal truth to face. His tough guy routine won't go over any better in prison. This wannabe criminal put on one of the worst shows this worker had ever seen, even if his props were convincing. And thanks to some audience participation, his clunky one-act play closed on opening night.
Douglasville, Georgia. Two sheriff's cruisers fallen behind a driver reported to be running drugs. The suspect thinks he's been spotted and plays it cool, calmly pulling into a driveway. Just an average Joe going home after errands. 345. But the cops call his bluff. They follow him onto the property, and Mr. Smooth panics. He peels out across a field. The aggressive move convinces the hood's pal he wants no part of what's coming. While one deputy stays to detain the man, the others roar into hot pursuit. The maniac tears onto a main road. And proves why his friend was so eager to bail. The man rockets through intersections, unconcerned about cross traffic. Up ahead, a waiting patrolman deploys stop sticks. The spastic speed demon swerves clear. The lead unit edges up to cut off the fugitive. But this guy's taking crazy chances the cops can't match. The madman plows through a red light, missing an unsuspecting driver by a fraction of an inch. As the vehicle barrels onto the highway, 20 west now, 20 west now. a third interceptor forges ahead of the drug runner. The three units work together to put the squeeze on the frantic offender. But this frenzied fool is going for broke, and he's about to find it. The renegade tries to break free of the trap and drives himself into a pit maneuver. But incredibly, he floors it in reverse, thinking he can J-turn out of this mess. Instead, he plows ass backwards into a ditch and gets pinned. Guns drawn, lawmen converge. Cops soon find a stash of pills and meth inside, which will send him to the clank for a long time. This drug-toting menace couldn't blend in. So he brazenly went all out. But his violent moves backfired and left his criminal career in the gutter. Up next. And he's in my home. On World's Wildest Police Videos. A drunk's urgent problem. Let me go! ends with a splash. A wild man's trail of mayhem leads to collateral damage, and a robber's reign of terror gets hit with a hail of bullets. Next. The back of a cruiser is like its own little jail. Between the door locks and the handcuffs, this is where the consequences of criminal behavior begin to set in. And believe me, most people can't handle being caged. Jacksonville, Florida. I want to follow you down there, okay? Cops have just busted a woman for DUI and put her in the back of this cruiser. Do not kick the windows anymore. But she's been raising even more hell off the road than on it. You keep damaging the police car, we're going to charge you with the damage oh, and property. You know what I'm saying? It's clear she needs to dry out in the drunk tank. But she'll try anything to avoid going there. I've got to go to the bathroom. You've got to pull over. I'm sorry. She figures a roadside pit stop will buy her a little time. The officer isn't taking the bait. Is this a no? Oh, you're making this really hard for me. Please let me go to the bathroom. And the more he ignores her, Hello? the angrier she gets. Let me go to the bathroom. Until common sense 
goes out the window. Along with her. The woman kicks out the glass and launches herself from the cruiser, which just happens to be going more than 50 miles an hour. The stunned officer races back to her crumpled body. The good news, she's still alive. The bad news, she's earned herself one of the gnarliest mugshots of all time. Boozy Floozy tried any stupid move to dodge punishment. Let me go to the bathroom! But she only managed to delay jail time. Hello! By landing herself in the hospital. In Seminole County, Florida, a DUI suspect is raising some major hell. We're on the wrong side of the road now. He's already rammed two police cars leaving their shattered shells in his wake. Whoa, he nearly goes head on with that semi. But it's what's coming up that has officers worry. He's heading straight toward an elementary school. Looks like he's trying to hit him and just barely missed. The trooper knows a pit maneuver in traffic could be dangerous. But with a crosswalk full of children ahead, the officer decides to make his move. The suspect flips and the police car wipes out two. Major accident here. Despite vehicles on both sides, he can't afford to wait. The hit chain reacts into a pickup, knocking the renegade off his wheels. The cruiser nails a tree as the frightened civilian drifts out of harm's way. Oh, this is a major accident here. Everyone is OK, but it's not over yet. Oh, no, we have fire. The suspect's car is on fire. The officer who made the stop is the first to respond to the smoke. You can see the other units pulling up here now. They're hurrying to reach this guy. Fortunately, the flames don't spread. It looks like the smoke is dying off now. And police are able to free the man from his crumpled vehicle. I think they got him. Best of all, the school zone remains maniac-free. It was a decision this patrolman didn't want to make. He nearly goes head on with that semi. Because either choice was bound to be messy. Just barely missed. But it's a victory when the number of guys caught equals one. Oh, knocks him into the other pickup. The suspect flips and the police car wipes out two. And the number of kids killed equals zero. I think they got him. Pursuit. Still to come. PD right there. Oh, side flight the LAPD. On World's Wildest Police Video, a back alley foot chase. Get on the ground. Leads to a dangerous arms race. You got my taker. And a booze hound takes flight. Literally. Craziness comes a knocking. And gets a shotgun. Next. These days, cameras are everywhere. Street corners, workplaces, even in our phones. And this is a huge advantage for law enforcement. Because odds are, when a suspect commits a crime, it's being recorded. Boynton Beach, Florida. A pair of burglars breaks into a suburban home. The owner's pets are hardly watchdogs. But their computer is. It's got a webcam that has these guys dead to rights. The wife sees the invasion from her work computer and notifies a welcoming committee. 911, hi, I'm watching my home on live monitor, and, and he's in my home, and he's in my bedroom. And I called 911 as soon as I saw it. And the cat's, like, freaking out. The brazen looters even raid the cupboard. Unaware that units are already arriving on the scene. The robbers have no idea they've become boob tube superstars. And they're equally clueless 
on how to ditch their new fame. The cornered thieves put their hands up and surrender. And after cops find the webcam footage, the suspects will be plopped in front of a different camera to take their mug shots. In Wyandotte, Kansas, police take advantage of another kind of video technology. Taser cam. Two officers use the devices to approach a violent suspect barricaded in his bathroom. Okay. Yeah, taser to the judge. There's no telling what's behind that door. They might need electric force to cut this guy down to size. The thug is wielding a 16-inch dagger. And when he won't drop it, they send him to the shower. The would-be butcher gets carved up by the massive jolt. But the shock isn't enough to loosen his weapon, so they serve up 50,000 more volts. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. It finally does the trick. Now the cops have their man and a record of the arrest. In Cincinnati, Ohio, an officer uses an even more modern device, a head-mounted minicam that documents every moment on the job. We're gonna be on Hamer behind uh, Bill's Market. Officer Mandy Kerfus tracks down a suspect who's been disturbing the peace. What's going on, sir? Come here, come here. 1426, he's running. Come here, get on the ground, get on the ground. The culprit ignores the cop's warning. No, I ain't getting a little goddamn crime. I'm gonna you if you don't stop. Get on the She ground. isn't bluffing. Yeah, what the f is but the loud, thick clothing keeps the barbs from penetrating. 1426, we're still running towards hell. Purpose targets him once more. Get on the ground. But it's the perp who pulls a shocking move. He got my taser. When Kerfus approaches the fallen thug, he snatches her weapon. And there's no worse combination than big, drunk, and armed. Another officer rushes in and fires his own taser. But if a dose of electricity won't stop this man, it might take a dose of lead. The heavy artillery distracts him enough for a takedown. And Kerfus has proof of his aggressive behavior. Whether these cameras witnessed a crime in progress... And he's in my home and he's in my bedroom. Or a direct threat to an officer... They prove that wrongful activities rarely go unseen... You got my taser! Drop it! ...and never go unpunished. <laughs> Marion County, Florida. An officer sees a car with expired tags and runs them through dispatch. The vehicle is registered to a Christopher Watson, whose license is suspended for multiple DUIs. But instead of stopping for the sirens, Chris takes off in more ways than one. The fleet felon accelerates toward the ditch, launches two stories off the drain pipe, tags an electrical pole, and smashes to earth on his roof. The officer searches in the trees to see if the guy's even alive. Chris will be airlifted to a hospital. I do have medical heading that way. Which will be his second flight of the day. After recovering, 
This serial drunk is sentenced to four years in the state pen. Police also found cocaine inside the car, proving that his self-destructive behavior was destined for new highs. Just ahead, on world's wildest police videos, Hollywood Hellcats create a violent scene. That is assault with a deadly weapon. Raging protesters turn London into ruins. And stick around for a bank heist. That's to die for. Next. London, England. Chaos erupts across the city after a controversial shooting incident by police. Now, protesters storm the streets in a massive wave of cop-hating rage. Officers mobilize to keep the situation under control. But hooligans everywhere make it their mission to defy the law. One group sets their sights on a commercial district. And when a squad moves in to oppose them, they find themselves outnumbered. They have to retreat as the mob comes after them with anything they can find, from metal poles to heavy newspaper dispensers. And when the cops back off, the punks continue their reign of destruction. They brazenly smash their way through a storefront, then rush in, snatching all the loot they can get their hands on. The crooks clean out the place, leaving it in shambles. Across town, other buildings are going up in smoke. Authorities are stretched thin, trying to contain the destruction. And fighting it turns into an all-night battle. From raging fires to shameless looting, the city falls prey to complete anarchy. The lawmen regroup, organizing their forces and recruiting every resource. Together, they face down the throngs of troublemakers. An impenetrable line of London's finest sweeps into the worst neighborhoods. It takes several days of tough, tenacious work until cops finally restore order. But the face of this historic city will be scarred for years to come. The riot led to dozens of serious injuries, over 3,000 arrests, and hundreds of millions of dollars in damage. It may have been anti-police sentiment that sparked this disaster, but when mob mentality took over, the very bobbies these Brits resented became the city's only solution. Hollywood, California. Very dangerous pursuit. Tinseltown gets a dose of harsh reality. A woman wanted for felony evasion rips up Hollywood Boulevard with her daughter on board. Right in front of hundreds of amazed tourists. But this is no action movie. And she's gonna go right through, unbelievable! These stunts are deadly serious. PD swarm the famous road to nab this serial dodger. And cops are even more persistent than paparazzi. But behind the wheel, mom strikes back. Stops hard on the brakes. Now she's backing into the police car now. That is assault with a deadly weapon. She jams her right into reverse and gives officers a bumper beating. And her violent act is about to have an even bigger sequel. She's got a red light. She's gonna U-turn once again. Now look at the LAPD right there. Oh, side swipe the LAPD. Another one, that's twice. The nefarious mother barely skirts one cruiser before slamming into another. Hard on the brakes, there's pedestrians everywhere. Seconds later, the car lurches to a halt. Cops soon realize the woman is not moving. 
In an unbelievable twist, the sideswipe knocked her own side view mirror through her window, clocking her in the face. She was lucky to stop before passing out cold. Officers know that the daughter, a drug offender herself, could still be a threat. Look at all those people on the left side. The LAPD has got to clear that sidewalk. And she's just feet away from a throng of gawking civilians. But the felonious girl has only one concern, her injured mom. With no other options, the youngster finally follows police orders. The show earns a standing O when cops take her into custody. As for her bad mother, she's still sleeping like a baby and sporting some brutal battle wounds. Maybe when she wakes, she can think long and hard on the value of being a good role model. This lawless combo may have made a splash on the streets of Hollywood. Backing into the police car now. But LAPD proved that in this movie mecca... Another one! That's twice! The good guys always win. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Video. Hands up! When a brazen bank robber gets cornered by police, he's ready to go out with a bang. It's a cop's goal to never pull their gun in the line of duty. Most officers will go their entire career without firing a shot, but officers still need to stay sharp with their weapon, even seasoned guys like me. Because if that moment comes, we can't afford to miss. Fox Point, Wisconsin. A critical alert comes over the radio. If it proceeds to 911 hang from the Cornerstone Community Bank. Bank robbery at Cornerstone. The report of a bank robbery has officers leaping into action. You're free to go. Seconds ago, a hooded punk entered the nearby bank, claimed to have a gun, and stole a wad of cash. Leaving in under half a minute. Tellers were able to get a description of the getaway car and relay the info to police. Cops immediately spot him. I got him. Hot on his tail, officers converge on a crowded intersection. Hands up! And take aim at the car. They see the defiant thief in the passenger seat. Get your hands up! And a female accomplice behind the wheel. Driver! Shut off the car! Terrified commuters flee from the sudden standoff. But the suspects seem unfazed. First shut off, fire shut off, it's in park. Hands in the air! Hands in the air! Despite the firepower surrounding them, the perps are keeping eerily still. Cops aren't sure what they're planning until they get a terrifying glimpse. Got a gun in the hand. Daddy car get back behind there. An officer deploys spike strips under the car in case they try to flee. But running is the last thing on the gunman's mind. 903 shots fired. The thug fires through his rear window, going sniper on the police. They respond with a storm of bullets. Pumping rounds into the passenger side of the car. It's too much for the woman in the driver's seat. She surrenders. She's quickly put in cuffs and a canine is sent charging toward the shooter. It tears into the sedan, looking to overpower its opponent. But officers soon discover the trigger man already paid the highest price for his brazen actions. This robber's foolish attempt to score a few bucks Hands up! 
brought the entire force down on him. He should have known when to cut his losses instead of cutting his life short. Some people still don't get it. Being bad is hard work with high risk that can leave you a wreck. And the only way to win this vicious game is not to play.